Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over factors that affect wound healing. So extrinsic factors and intrinsic factors. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel reach more people. And that's exactly what my channel is about. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so there are many factors that can affect wound healing, and I am very into optimizing wound healing. So these are the factors that I always look at, okay, and try to optimize so we can get better healing outcomes, okay? So we'll go over the extrinsic factors or local factors first. So um, wound management practices and moisture balance, okay? So one we want to make sure that we have an eyeball moist wound. Um, that allows a wound to heal much faster, allows cells to move across the top of the wound easier, and you get less chances of scarring. Um, now managing uh, wound management practices. So we want to make sure that if there's no local infection or if a patient isn't at high risk of infection, we're not using antimicrobials, okay? Antimicrobials can slow down the wound healing process when there's no um, infection there. So we wanna make sure that we're managing a wound properly, okay? We want to have a stable temperature, okay? So we want it at body temperature. Every time we open up a wound dressing and clean it with saline or sterile water, we're cooling down the wound, okay? It can take a wound four hours to get back up to healing temperature. So we're losing all that healing time. That's why we try to tell people if we can leave a bandage on there for two, three days, if it's being managed for two, three days, that is perfect because then you have that long of healing time. If we're separating or changing it even twice a day, then every time we take off the bandage, clean it, whatnot, it's going to take another four hours to get back up to healing temperature. Okay. Infection, obviously that's going to delay wound healing. Um, even the wound location. So wound location, um, say if it's on your foot, you can't really get away from walking, right? Or if it's on the coccyx region or tailbone region, um, people have to sit, okay? So um, is there mechanical stress, pressure, friction? It's all going to be factors that, that delay the wound healing process, okay? Um, presence of foreign body. So this could be um, if, if somebody has had a uh, steel plate put in their arm or anything like that, if there's, is, if there's a foreign body um, in the wound base, it is going to delay wound healing. Okay, so now we have our intrinsic factors or systematic factors. Nutrition. Nutrition is a big one. Um, I do have uh, four videos for nutrition for wound healing. Um, it's super, super important that we're getting our protein, the right amount of calories, um, increase our fluid intake, getting our vitamins. So eating from the food pyramid, eating our fruits and vegetables in a wide range of colors, okay? That's what's giving us our nutrients. We need nutrient-dense foods, okay? Um, underlying chronic disease. Okay. So when we have a patient with a wound, we have to be looking at the patient as a whole and not just that hole in their body, because we can have chronic diseases that are affecting wound management. So for di diabetics, um, for example, we want to make sure that they're controlling their blood sugar, because if a blood sugar is not in control, we have a really hard time healing the wound. Okay. If a person has decreased mobility, if they're not able to get up and walk around, if they're not able to really move themselves, it's going to be hard for them to heal a wound. Most of the time, those are pressure wounds. Okay. Um, impaired perfusion. So when um, our blood isn't flowing properly. Okay. So say with arterial disease, our blood isn't flowing to our feet like it should. Okay. So where 
um, the wound isn't getting the oxygen and nutrients that it should be getting to heal. Okay. Um, medications can slow down the wound healing process. Mental health, um, so stress, anxiety, depression, um, it can affect wound healing if somebody's not taking care of themselves or if somebody has high stress um, over just changing a bandage. Okay. Um, stress does a lot on our bodies and can interrupt the wound healing process. Um, patient knowledge, understanding, or compliance. If a patient isn't complying with the bandages and treatment plan, it's going to delay wound healing. But sometimes it's just their knowledge. So you always want to be talking with the patient and making sure that they understand why. Okay. Most of the time, if they're if we are telling them this is exactly why we're doing what we're doing, they will comply with it. Um I, I I just had some pictures actually sent to me the other day, and it was of a patient um, who was not complying with their wound. Okay, um, they weren't going along with the treatment plan, but if you simply just explain like this is why we're doing it, it will heal a lot faster. People might not like wearing compressions or the compression wraps or whatnot, um, but we have to work with them and figure out a plan that suits them. Um, because we're not, if they're just leaving it open, taking off the wraps, putting polysporin on it, doing things that they really shouldn't be doing, adding moisture when we need to be removing moisture, this is going to delay wound healing. And in, in the case that I was sent, it, it was just completely destroying the leg. Um, the wounds were getting very large. We had um, satellite lesions. Like That's why education is so important in telling a patient why we're doing everything. Um, now, age of the patient, once again, super important. As we age, it's harder to heal. So I hope this video was helpful to give you a better understanding of everything that is affecting wound healing or could be affecting wound healing. And as wound care specialists, that is what we're looking at and trying to optimize to get the best possible chances of that wound to heal. Um, but that's all I have for this video, guys, and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.